Masai the male lion tolerates the tiger's leaps with stoical calm. Alex tries something he won't do every time. Alex's relief is unmistakable. Martin Lacey is an animal trainer at Circus Krona. Good girl! His father, Martin Lacey Sr., founded a circus in Britain because he believed the animals got too bored in the zoo. What people don't realize, these tigers are, are my friends. It's a bit like taking your dog down to the park and throwing sticks for him. Concentrating hard, they follow their teacher's commands. And then they have another side, friendly and playful. Big cats don't have to be in the wild. If they're born into other worlds, they can be happy there. They shot the husband, they shot the wife, and they shot the nine-year-old daughter. In the United States, out of the 2,843 inmates on death row, 54 are women. We were granted permission to interview three of them. They all have a troubled past in common, mixed with drugs, sexual abuse, and extreme violence. She's in a cell all day long, 23 hours of the day. Tell me that is not enough punishment. Lawyers fight day and night to delay their executions. I believe that Shauna Ford was not present when these homicides occurred. The children are also affected. People emailed me and said that my family should be extinct. Even when they are proven innocent, the nightmare continues. They took my life. I mean, they didn't so much as even apologize. This is the unknown world of women on death row. Military Family Respite Center that started when Miss Kim, she saw this house, hacienda, sitting empty and was in foreclosure. You were trying to kill yourself? I, I did. I shot myself in the neck right here. 1998 is when I tried to commit suicide. I, their thoughts were extremely prevalent in my mind. Most of us go to war when we're very young, and a lot of us had problems before we ever went to war. The VA has made some mistakes, they've overdosed, but it's not the VA's fault, it's the doctors that are doing it. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta have a life. You know, you gotta, as they say, you have to participate in your own recovery. My bros that I was overseas with, we call each other, we text each other. 22 vets a day take their wives back and not get pushed on them by the VA as far as drugs go and stuff. They need to be helped. Digital divides exist between rural and urban, between young and old, between rich and poor, and between men and women. Digital Africa is booming. Mobile telephones provide access to market information, especially in rural areas. Passing the knowledge and the information to the next generation. A dynamic startup scene is reinventing the continent. We're living in the future now. A generation of young founders is busy creating a new Africa image with innovations made for and in Africa. My name is Geraldine DeBastian. I create networks between innovators and startups worldwide and host conventions connecting people from all continents. We meet to exchange different ideas of how technology can help solve development issues and improve lives. Energy is there, the willingness is there. It's just how they all come together and make it work for the people of this continent. Okay, I'm ready. Out of honking, that's part of the circus. Each morning, the circus folk wake up in a different place. Every evening, they spark dreams, laughter, and thrills. Behind this whirlwind of emotions are the dynastic families of the circus. You'll discover their treasures and their secrets. I'm the advisor of shadows like the advisor of the president. Stories of enduring and astonishing love. Mavis. Mavis is my first cousin's first cousin. Their children live outside the norm, alongside baby tigers born before their very eyes. 
They like their danger without a safety net. The circus remains the only place in the world where at any moment you can see an artist risking his hide. In order to continue attracting audiences, they take greater and greater risks. October 9th, 1967. Despite his surreptitious execution, the amputating of his hands for fingerprint testing, and his hasty burial next to an airfield runway, there was no hiding him. Che Guevara was to become one of the greatest legends and icons of the 20th century. The moment news of his death broke, the youth took to the streets everywhere, brandishing his portrait, thus setting it on its way to becoming one of the best known and most reproduced images in the world. his legendary status, we need to trace Che step by step through his formative years, which began with his arrival in Cuba as a combat medic for the rebel army led by Fidel Castro. So when and how was the legend of the Guerrero Heroico born? How did socialist theoreticians intend to use his image? And how was Ernesto Guevara finally trapped by this self-same image? This is a question that many scholars and researchers all over the world have grappled with, and especially in the past century have begun to ask whether the evangelical scriptures are not fiction, but reality. The answer being that those documents may indeed bear a true factual account, but examining the matter from the perspective of physical and scientific evidence to prove it. The ultimate victory of life over death and proof of the immeasurable majesty of the only begotten Son of God, the only prophet to have risen from the dead in soul and body unto eternal life. The Holy Sepulchre, a place that several Christian denominations refer to as the center of the world. mysteries are concealed in Christ's burial place and what actually happened in the few hours that the body of our Lord lied in it. mechanism, capable of self-replication and great diversity. But what actually is it? Looking for life beyond Earth has been a human obsession for centuries. Science is overtaking those visions. We keep looking and we're getting better at it. Science and fiction are about to meet in the middle when, not if, we come across life beyond Earth. I am a river, the giver of life. I am the Zayanderud. My journey ends here, at 1,470 meters above sea level, in a salt marsh called Gafkuni, a green paradise and a sanctuary for thousands of birds. Well, that was before. We call this place the castle of Shake Kenas. We're about 25 kilometers from the town of Varzene. People from the town used to come here to farm the land. And in 1988, people stopped farming here and left because of the lack of water. Whenever I come here, I feel sad inside. It upsets me so much to see all this once fertile land barren and deserted. The measurement of time, we suppose, it was by observing the sun and the alternation of day and night. It is a symbol of power. From the moment we control time, we control people. Since humans learned how to count, 
who've tried to understand and measure the observable phenomena of time. If we send satellites into space today, it's thanks to this rudimentary instrument. Today, a group of experts made up of astrophysicists, engineers, and historians is following in the footsteps of these genius inventors. Einstein showed that absolute rigid time does not exist. How to ensure that between each tick and talk, we always have one second. Thanks to them, men have tamed the Earth's cycles. They escaped the ocean's traps, traced maps, precious ally or formidable enemy. Time dictates the rhythm of our lives.